Vrata means uh, to uh, uh, inconvenience oneself materially, but convenience oneself spiritually. That's Vrata. Right. Yeah, but you have to go through some Vrat. And Vrat also means. Uh, can you give it to Kasapa Bonita? Chair. Bring one chair. He's going to stand on the table. Anyone else needs chair? Somebody went for chair? Oh, Ajay. Okay. Okay, it's coming. So, uh, Varata means. Uh, to to uh, uh, allow oneself to apply voluntary force to allow oneself to apply voluntary, voluntary force. force that you do something higher that you don't normally do in your daily devotional service. <coughs> Don't normally do that. There's a vrata, and therefore, in this particular month, the devotees uh, take some more vows than normally they follow. In that sense, uh, and during this month, particularly uh, in Vrindavan, it is the principle, a regulated principle to pray daily to Lord Krishna in his Damodar form. Uh, Damodar refers to Krishna in his uh, childhood form when he was tied up with the rope by mother in his Yasoda. So tomorrow evening I will explain that pastime in more detail. Tomorrow evening. From the ten canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada gives us everything there. So we'll explain more. Dhamma means a rope, and Buddha means a stomach or belly. And uh, Mother Yusuf bound Krishna uh, around the abdomen or belly uh, with a rope. So Dhamma Udara. Dhamma means rope, Udara means belly in that sense. And uh, during this time, uh, when they asked Srila Prabhupada, how should we pray during this month, like that? Uh, uh, the prayer is fairly simple. Uh, my dear Lord Damada, uh, you are the Lord of all and the giver of all benedictions. Mm. There are many demigods like uh, Lord Brahma, uh, Lord Shiva, who, who sometimes offer uh, benedictions to their respective worshippers and devotees. Uh, for example, Prabhupada gave in this regard, he said Ravana was blessed with many benedictions by Lord Shiva. And Hiranyaka Shipu was blessed with so many benedictions by Lord Brahma. And, but even Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma, they depend upon the benedictions of Lord Krishna. And therefore Krishna is a dress of, not as Ishvara, but is as dressed as Parameshwara, the controller of the controllers. And therefore he is the benefactor for all including the demigods, like that. And therefore Lord Krishna can offer his devotees anything they want. But the devotee is not stupid or silly to pray for benedictions that are trivial, stupid or silly that the devotees of the demigods pray to. So, when they ask Prabhupada, what is that prayer <coughs> to the Supreme Lord in the month of Dhamma? So, Prabhupada said, uh, 
My Lord, I do not ask you any benedictions uh, to get liberation. And I do not want any benediction for any material facility up to the point of liberation. What I want is that you favor me always to remember you in this particular form in which I see you now as Damodha. And this particular form is the most beautiful and attractive that my consciousness doesn't want anything else besides this form in my consciousness.